My name is Stuart Ritter. I'm a certified financial planner at T. Rowe Price. This is the story of my missing over $100,000, literally, and what I learned and how it changed my life. The two years between when I got out of undergraduate and went back to graduate school, and I worked full time for those two years, and I earned money, and I spent that money. And in today's dollars, that was $107,000. And to this day, I have no idea what I spent that money on. I mean, I lived in an apartment, so I had rent and I had a car and groceries and gas and stuff like that, but $107,000 is a lot of money. And it has always bothered me that I still have no idea what I spent that money on. And even worse, that whatever it is I might have thought was important to me, the money didn't go for that. So that moment of realizing that I had essentially lost and was missing the $107,000 taught me a couple of things. One, it taught me to be more deliberative about it, to think about it, not just is this something I wanna do right now, but how does it compare to something I might wanna do later? And one of the harder things is something I might wanna do later that I can't identify right now. Deciding to go back to graduate school wasn't something that I decided to do until later on. And recognizing that the decisions I made in the moment were affecting both the things that I could think of at the time and things I hadn't thought of yet was one of the lessons I took away from it. So the idea of balance is key. Us financial planners know we have the reputation that if you come talk to us, we're gonna say you have to sit at home in the dark and eat nothing but macaroni and cheese. It's not that draconian. You've gotta have a balance of what you like to do today and what you're going to want to do in the future. And it's recognizing that the decisions you're making today are affecting your own future self is part of that calculus. It's part of thinking about where does that balance need to be? So you don't wanna deprive who you are today of the opportunities that you have. At the same time, you don't wanna deprive who you're going to be of opportunities that you're going to want in the future. That balance will shift, you'll make some mistakes, you'll have some regrets, but if in general, you're making those thoughtful decisions and you can look back and say, yeah, I did a pretty good job, that's where you wanna to get to. One of the things I remember vividly from when I was a kid when it came to money was the fact that I never seemed to have any of it. And my brother always seemed to have money. He was an incredible saver. And it was that dichotomy that helped me realize that it's a choice. And part of that is there are two elements to the saving, what you're doing with your money. That's one element. The other element is what your expectations are. I mean, there's that uh, apocryphal question of, is the glass half full or half empty? And if you think of it as the glass is the stuff I want, and the water is the stuff I have. Well, is it half full or half empty? Another way to think about that is maybe the glass is too big. Maybe what you think you're supposed to have is too much. And if you moderate that, then there's a better alignment between what you have and what you want. So early on in my career, I was spending everything and saving nothing. Now, I will say that I have learned that the more you're saving today, the more opportunities you're creating for yourself in the future. Because who you're going to be in the future is still unknown. And you don't know what that person is going to want or not want. So it's important to make decisions today to give you that flexibility and those opportunities in the future. If you spend it all today, and certainly if you take on debt, when you're taking on debt, you're spending your own future income. You are deciding that the person you're going to be in the future is gonna to have to take some of their money and spend it on whatever you're buying today and not spend it on the things that that person, who you are going to be in the future, is going to want then. So getting that balance right is still a struggle. Do we buy something today or do we save it for something in the future? Something we know we're going to want or something we haven't even encountered yet. And that's always a struggle, trying to get that balance right. At the end of the day, everybody makes mistakes. You've heard about mine, so here's your opportunity. Leave a comment about a mistake with money that you've made and what you've learned from.